Good day, everyone, and welcome to Learn English with Blaine. And this is your intermediate dictation number 78. And the topic of our dictations today is going to be complex sentences. Complex sentences. Complex sentences are sentences with one independent clause and at least one dependent clause. The dependent clause will begin with a subordinate conjunction. Here are just a few of the more common subordinating conjunctions. Because, if, although, even though, after, unless, and until. So these words will be at the beginning of the dependent clause, which will be part of the complex sentences that we're going to be looking at today. See the links in the description box for more information about types of sentences. So if you go to the description box of this video, you will see some links there that will help you. Do you have your pen and paper ready? Because remember that you are going to listen and then write what you hear. Now in this video, there will be five dictations and I will say each one three times. Do not worry if you make a few spell mistakes. Do not worry if you can't write every word. You will get better with practice. Now, after you do your dictation, look for the parts of the complex sentence. Okay, so after you do your dictation, you can look for the parts of the complex sentence. And I'll give you an example. This is a complex sentence. You did well because you studied hard. You did well because you studied hard. Exclamation. So you would write this on your paper, and then you will look for the parts of the complex sentence. Now, in this example, we've got the dependent clause, because you studied hard. We've got the subordinated conjunction, right here, because. And then you've got the independent clause, right here, you did well. So the whole complex sentence is, you did well because you studied hard. We have the independent clause, which begins with, with the subject. And then we've got the dependent clause, which will begin with a subordinated conjunction. Okay, everyone, so let's get started with our dictation number one. Dictation number one. Because Lucy and her brother had such a nice meal at the cafe down the street, comma, they are going to return next week, period. Because Lucy and her brother, because Lucy and her brother had such a nice meal, had such a nice meal at the cafe down the street, at the cafe down the street, comma, they are going to return next week. They are going to return next week, period. Because Lucy and her brother had such a nice meal at the cafe down the street, comma, they are going to return next week, period. Because Lucy and her brother had such a nice meal at the cafe down the street, they are going to return next week. Now, can you find the parts? We're looking for the dependent clause, the subordinate conjunction, and the independent clause. Remember everyone that you can also, at this point, you can pause the video while you look. Okay, let's take a look. Now, so we've got the dependent clause. Because Lucy and her brother had such a nice meal at the cafe down the street, that's the dependent clause. The subordinate conjunction is because and then the independent clause, which begins with the subject, is they are going to return next week. 
All of this together is one nice, long, complex sentence with the dependent clause and the independent clause. Okay, let's move along to our next dictation. Dictation number two. Even though it rained a lot at the park, comma, we had such a great time with our new friends from down the street, period. Even though it rained a lot at the park. Even though it rained a lot at the park. Comma. We had such a great time. We had such a great time with our new friends, with our new friends from down the street. From down the street. Period. Even though it rained a lot at the park, comma, we had such a great time with our new friends from down the street, period. Even though it rained a lot at the park, we had such a great time with our new friends from down the street. Now, pause the video for a moment while you look for the dependent clause, the subordinate conjunction, and the independent clause. Okay, now let's take a look. So the dependent clause is, even though it rained a lot at the park, comma, the subordinate conjunction is even though, and the independent clause is, we had such a great time with our new friends from down the street. Remember everyone that whenever we begin with the dependent clause, we're going to have a comma after the after the uh, dependent clause is over, we're going to have a comma. Okay, so let's move along to our next dictation. Dictation number three. After they finished washing the dishes and sweeping the floor, comma, Alex and his grandmother spent some quality time together, period. After they finished washing the dishes, after they finished washing the dishes and sweeping the floor, comma, and sweeping the floor, comma, Alex and his grandmother, Alex and his grandmother spent some quality time together. Spent some quality time together, period. After they finished washing the dishes and sweeping the floor, Comma, Alex and his grandmother spent some quality time together, period. After they finished washing the dishes and sweeping the floor, Alex and his grandmother spent some quality time together. Now, let's look for those parts of the complex sentence. If remember, you can pause, right? After each dictation, you can pause while you look. Okay, here we go. The dependent clause, after they finished washing the dishes and sweeping the floor. That is the dependent clause with the subordinate conjunction at the, at the beginning, after. And then finally at the end, we have the independent clause. Alex and his grandmother spent some quality time together. So again, all together, this is the complex sentence with the three parts. 
Okay, everyone, let's move along to our next dictation. Dictation number four. Dictation number four. I think we will stay at the hotel until my brother and his wife arrive, comma, sometime later tonight, period. I think we will stay at the hotel. I think we will stay at the hotel until my brother and his wife arrive. Until my brother and his wife arrive, comma, sometime later tonight. Sometime later tonight. Period. I think we will stay at the hotel until my brother and his wife arrive, comma, sometime later tonight. I think we will stay at the hotel until my brother and his wife arrive sometime later tonight. Okay, so this is a complex sentence, and let's look for those three parts. Okay, so in this example, we are beginning with the independent clause. I think we will stay at the hotel. I think we will stay at the hotel. That's an independent clause. This is a good sentence right here. And then we've got the dependent clause. Until my brother and his wife arrive, comma, sometime later tonight. So that is the dependent clause, and the subordinate conjunction is until. Now, now notice one thing that in this clause, this is, a, this is a dependent clause with a phrase at the very end of the sentence. But let's move along to our next dictation. This is our last dictation of the video, and this is dictation number five. Dictation number five. Unless she eats well, and gets lots of sleep each night, comma, our dog simply has no energy in the morning, exclamation. Unless she eats well, unless she eats well, and gets lots of sleep each night, and gets lots of sleep each night, comma, our dog simply has no energy in the morning, exclamation. Our dog simply has no energy in the morning, exclamation. Unless she eats well and gets lots of sleep each night, comma, our dog simply has no energy in the morning. Unless she eats well and, get lots of, and gets lots of sleep each night, our dog simply has no energy in the morning. Okay, so this again is a complex sentence. And look for the parts. Pause the video and look for the parts, and then we'll take a look in just a moment. Okay, so here we've got this sentence beginning with the dependent clause. Unless she eats well and gets lots of sleep each night. This is the dependent clause beginning with the, conjunct with the subordinate conjunction, unless. And then finally at the end, we've got our independent clause. Our dog simply has no energy in the morning. So again, all of this together 
is a complex sentence with a dependent clause, a subordinate conjunction, and an independent clause. So that's the end of our video, everyone. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I hope that it was interesting and informative. And remember, leave your comments or questions in the comment section below the video. I would love to respond to those. And if you like this video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone. And I will see you in the next video. And remember to have yourself a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.